How are you doing everyone? Once again, this is Dario from Media Box CNT. If this is your first time on the channel, you're going to hit the little M right there and then you become part of Media Box CNT. And remember, always, always, all this information and all the useful links will be right below the video. So guys, how are you doing? I want to make it simple and easy. If this will be the first timers, if you the first time and you're thinking to buy Profit Trailer, you want to learn how to install it, that's the video for you. We simple. We're going to only talk about the installation. Later on, we'll be other videos. We're going to be talking pairs, DCA, and more, a lot of more tips and secrets. Uh, this is a serious video. This will be my number four video. I have all the three videos. I'm going to leave right below the description. Uh, the main playlist. We're going to be updating once a week with new videos. Make sure you get 100% of your profit. So, I leave you right now with the installation. And if you guys wanted to buy this, right below the video, I have my referral link. I prefer it if you got using that helps me a little bit to keep keep making this video for you guys. All right, so a few things before uh, we start installation. Uh, go to the main page, uh, profiletrailer.com, and I want you to open a few tabs. We're going to open the wiki, and also we're going to be open the release. Every time you want to check for the new uh, update, for now, that's the best way, go on the release. Um, now, to get the license, we're on the main page. Now, you will need either you buy the package of the three licenses, or let's say now, as example, we're going to use Binance. First, and we're going to be copying that at the API key. Now, remember, you never give away your private key. Nobody needs a private key, only for yourself. Now, you didn't text support, nobody else in the chat, nobody can ask you ever for your private key. Public key, nobody cares, you can share that thousand times if you want to. So the first step, we need to get the key. So you went to finance or either your um, Bitrex and you're going to create two keys. All right, you're going to create two keys. You're going to activate everything except withdraw because we don't want about to withdraw anything. You're going to create two keys. We only need the public key, the first one. It's the only one you're going to get your license. All right, so you're going to copy it over, like I'm doing now. That's an example. You're going to copy it over, and you're going to paste that before you order. All right, we're going to leave this open, and then we place the order. Remember, private keys, you keep it. And I'm going to show you here because, for obvious reason, we're not going to show the private key. But let's imagine the private key is right there. I will have to click and activate it. And another thing, if you ever um, open one in Btrex, by any chance, you activate your uh, second authenticator from Google, and then you go in and activate the key, and then deactivate your Google for some reason. You want to activate a second form, your keys will be deleted. You will have to go back and re enter two new keys, and then you have to submit another key to Profit Trailer to map the new key. So remember, activate your second authenticator from Google and then got the request for the new API keys. So let's copy it over as an example. And we're going to paste that pretty easy into the to place the order. All right, so we paste it there, and then we follow the order. Pretty simple. So my next step, meanwhile, that you went in for reply to get your authentication key or to activate the key, because with the calls, they're going to map your key with the profit trailer key. You just either bin in, so... Um, B tracks. So at this point, we can close that. So we're going to download the latest version. Always the one in the beginning. Uh, it's already a new version, the time I filmed this. But you always download it. it anyway, it's all the same up to now. Whatever version it is, it's always will be the same. So you're going to download it. You're going to paste it in your uh, desktop. In my case, I use Windows. You can use Windows, Mac, whatever OS you want to use. We're going to paste it real small. And we're going to unzip it. And we're going to make some configurations there. Uh, then we can close this site. As you saw that, I still have open uh, where I have the keys because we need to cap some information there to my main file. Let's check some of the files you're going to need. The file there, CMD, that's the one you're going to execute in your Windows machine. All right. Uh, technically, there are different ways to execute if you're going to execute in an Elixir machine, but this is only. Uh, how are we going to edit this? So the two files, we're going to look into it right now. It's going to be your properties. 
and the configuration. You're going to do this once. I don't think you're going to have to touch it, this again. And be careful with the application you're supposed to share. People share the, the train strategy. Sometimes they share the DCA or all those properties, but you're never going to share your properties because the application property keeps all your private key there. So be careful to share that one. And let me show you the other files. We're going to go straight to the training directory. That's what we're going to be working 100% of the time. This is the only file. So it's all the files will show up later on. When you execute it, when you call log, it will keep the logs out. But that's what you're going to be working later on. That will be another video. But so let's go now and let's edit the most important thing so we can get this running right away for you. So we're going to the application properties first. We're going to edit. I use a no plus plus. You can use any other editor. The first thing we're checking is the port number. Obviously, for this 8081, you can change if you want. The way to do it, if you're going to be running another one, let's say B tracks, then you have to run it 8082 because they're running the same computer. Now, if you're running the two computers, then will be the same port number. But this is a small program, so you can run a few, depends on the computer. So we're going to run it. We're going to leave it default. 8081 or 8082, depends, you can change any number. But remember, if you're going to be running two in the same time on the same computer, you will have to change the port number. So that we have that set. Our next thing is the key. We're going to get the first key. Remember the one we, we send out. Uh, that's the first key. We're going to copy that one. We're going to paste it. That's the one that got mapped uh, to your uh, profit trailer. So we copy and it's the same process you're going to be running if you're in Polynex or if you're in Bitrex. And then now we're going to copy the second one. Remember, you're going to open two keys. You activate everything except the one that says withdraw again. My next step is your private key. All right. So your private key, it will show you normally if you got a Google Authenticator, you have to put a, a Google Authenticator to be able to see it. Like for example, this. I'm going to copy it over the same key so you have an idea. All right. And that's the one. That's why I said this file you should never share. People share files. But this one, they don't have to see it because this one, I will have a lot of um, info. Um, it's running a lot of your own information. Now, for the demo, I'm going to be copying the same key. All right. This is a demo. It's not really working uh, unit. I was showing the one working one. So we copy it over the same. Remember, in your case, you're going to be copying the different keys. And that's it. We done. Now the lock, I like to keep it seven days. Before this two, you can keep it 14 days, 30 days. We keep that. Our next thing is a password. As you see, it has the dash. So if you have no dash, it's not going to be activated. It is really, if you're running local, you don't have to do it. But if you want to be able to edit the config without using the no plus plus when you debug the bot goes live, then you you will have to run a password even if it runs in local machine. You can do and put up easy password if you have one two three anyway you run in a local machine. You want to do that so it makes it easy for you to change it. Next thing, let's call it whatever you want. It runs Beatrice to the moon. You can call it Beatrice to the moon any name. Once again, now if you run a password in a, a virtual or private server. Then you will have to activate the password no matter what because you don't want nobody to be adding anything. But again, that's you can use no plus plus and you don't need to put a password. Your next thing, um, yeah, we need to take the dash out. That's it. So now we have a name. We the next thing is the time. We're gonna remove that. You want to put the right time. If not, you're gonna be a little confused when you look the lock. The lock is not gonna make sense on the time it stamps. And plus, this button resets at 12 o'clock uh, midnight, so you know how much money you make uh, a day before. So you have to Google it out and go in and see what it's the time. In my case, I'm in New York, so it's minus 5. Now, also, when, when you do this, I will say compare to the wiki, because what happened is they keep updating the main file, but they never update the script. So a lot of things you have to edit yourself. So open the, even though you've seen this video, open the wiki and compare. And you will notice that some of the lines are missing here. Um, we're going to have to be editing later on. So with that, that's all set. Oh, and we need to put the change. In this case, if it's Bitrex, 
We're going to put Beatrice. This one we run at test mode. We're going to put the Binance. And I think I have to fix the name in the bottom. I misspelling there. And we're going to make it, uh, oh, I think I did already. Oh, now, yes, we're going to do that now. Make more sense. Now, your next thing we have to do now, if you want, I would definitely want, definitely want to activate Telegram. Download the application. And it's just like WhatsApp. And you see the line, I get Telegram, post, new order, equals true. That was not the original one. So that's why I said you need to open the wiki and just look and compare. Okay, you just open the section where it says WhatsApp and you see it's missing the line. So we're at the line now. Now, let me show you the instructions how to install. Um, we're going to wiki and we're going to go to in, uh, Telegram. At this point, I will recommend you to open um, the Telegram um, web version. It's much easier if you want to get codes and everything. Or you can use that from your phone. So now we get we need to get first a token for your robot. So that's what we're going to do right now. We look at the instruction there. You say you talk to the father. You see my the web version. And right now I'm going to just click there where it says the father. Not the father. If you see, if you compare when you see the wiki, it's a small here. So we're going to click there. And automatic, it's going to open the automatic bot from um, so I show you that that's not the one you want to execute anyway if you run the web version you just click on it and opens you see there opens automatically there then you're going to click a star and it's going to show up as samples where you need to type now sometimes it's a little tricky sometimes I try a few times. Sometimes I'm not sure if I have to do capital letters or low or low case. Whatever name you're gonna type, always needs to finish with B O T. And and if I try sometimes the first time the name anyway, I'm trying some fake name here for the purpose of this video. So you type that exactly. New bot, you're gonna do that, and then you type the name. If you type the name and nothing happened because it's not taking it, so try and you will see that now. Like an example. I'm going to try and Dario, uh, and I think on the score I put uh, uh, BOT, and it's not going to give me any result. It will repeat the same line again. It will keep, see? So that means that's wrong. The name is not taking it, okay? So once again, we're gonna, I'm going to be trying a different name, and you will see it will give me a result in the end. And after that result, it will give me the API key, and the API key, that's the one you're going to need to copy into the script. That's it. You see now, it take it. It's automatic. It keep me the API key. You only see a little part because I hide it. So you're going to be copying the API key. Pretty simple. And just going to paste it there. After that, we're going to come back. And we're going to get your ID. All right? All right. So we copy the API key. We're going to paste it in the first line. Very simple, done. Um, my next thing, let's get the ID. So we go back into the web version of uh, Telegram. That's a tri the tricky thing. As you see now, I have my bot over there. You see the first one? There's Dario. So we're going to click on it. All right, right there. You see there? I'm highlighting right now. So we're going to click there, and it's going to open a new screen. You see there? The same one you see over there in the top. We are then going to just clean and clean the stars and then let's, let's start fresh. That's it. We click the start there. And then the secret for this, you need to type this. You need to look for this. Get your ID. And soon you type get, you see it there. Click on it. And if you're on the same screen, that's it. That's my ID. Now you're going to copy that number. And we go back into the editor, no plus plus. And then we're going to copy right below. Guys, it's done. You did already your main configuration. Now you can save it, and you don't need to touch this anymore, except that you change the, your main key. If you change your uh, public keys or something went wrong, then you're going to have to re enter the keys. But this is done. So when you run your. Uh, your telegram is going to 
It's going to send you a message every time it buys and every time it sells. And our next file is the configuration property. The only thing there, if you want to run this at test mode, you can change test mode to true. But one thing you can do is if you have no money there yet, you can run it with no problem and you can see if it's running. We will try to buy, we'll try to do a few things, but there is no money there. So try with no money first, with no BTC or whatever you want to put there, and then you can upload BTC and that's perfect. So at this point, when it's done, we can execute that and it's going to run. I'm going to show you a real one. See, we click there. All right. So now we run the real version. There is no money there actually in this when I set it up the, uh, this version. But this is a true configuration. So with that, you, you're done already. That's the only thing now. If there is extra stuff to do, that will mean you pair. But that's a totally different video. This is your main configuration. So in, what is it? Maybe in 10, 15 minutes to get all the information in, you should be running. Once again, this is a window version. No different if you're running a Mac. And no different if you want to run in a virtual server. There is, you got to execute different codes. But same directory, you can move anywhere. You can grab this directory and copy it over and run in Ubuntu. You can copy it over and run in a Mac. It runs anywhere, everywhere. Same configuration. All right. So everything is cool. It's zero, ready to set up. What I'm going to do, I'm going to be uploading this to uh, my uh, virtual private uh, server. And that should be fine. Everything runs perfect. And happy uh, trading. Let's, make, let's go to the moon.